Uplanders, I just minted this property and look at that. This micro house fits perfectly. Or does it? I'm debating as to whether I should construct a micro house here or leave it without a structure. Now the home might fit on here, but this doesn't leave a lot of space for anything else. And that's the important part of what I want to discuss in this video. So the property that I minted here is in London in the Abbey Road neighborhood, and it's really tiny. It's only nine up squared. And as you could see, I was able to fit a micro house on it without any issue. Now this video is not only talking about putting micro houses on small properties, but essentially putting any type of structure on a property where it barely fits, like this here. Now before I start this build, I want to take into consideration some other things that I might want to place on this property as well. Maybe I'm going to have a car that I'm going to want to park here, maybe some map assets, or a structure ornament. And the structure ornament is the problematic item here that I really want to dive into and explain. So before I'm going to start my build, I have my structure ornament here, and I'm going to want to position this exactly in the corner or off to the side, because this is really going to determine if I can fit my structure on this property. We can see here that I have pulled over a land for land train ride structure ornament, and all of the structure ornaments are stored in these crates. And these crates are all the same size, regardless of the size of the structure that you have. Now, it's also important to note that the structure size has to match the ornament size. So if my only option for this property is to build a micro house like you saw, then the contents of this crate is going to have to be also for a micro house. And this is for a luxury modern house. So this is obviously not going to be able to be applied to the micro house once it's constructed. But for the purpose of this video, this is not really important. If I don't have a micro house structure ornament, I can always go ahead and get a different one at a later point in time. Now that I've placed the structure ornament, I want to go ahead and try and construct my home right now and see if it will actually fit. So what I don't want to do is start building the micro house and once it's constructed, realize that I'm not going to be able to apply a structure ornament to it if I so choose. So this is why it's always important to check this out beforehand. And now, even if I had a much larger property and maybe I wanted to build a apartment on top of that, then I want to make sure also that the apartment is not going to be exactly the same size of the plot of land because I do want to make sure that I have space for the structure ornament if I do want to add one to my property later. Now, if you want to learn more about structure ornaments, take a look at the link in the upper right hand corner or in the description below. It's also important to see that it's not just one structure ornament that I might want to have on here, but I might want to place several because structure ornaments are placed seasonally. So there are nine seasons in Upland, and you're going to want to make sure that if you do want to keep your home decorated throughout the year, you're going to have space for nine of these crates or for however many you choose you want to put on. Now, there's a lot more fine tuning I'm going to have to do here to make sure that I can get this property as well as this crate on at the same time. I might have to try and move this crate somewhere else. So if it's important for me to actually place structure ornaments on my home, then I might want to think twice about actually building a structure here. So why is it important to actually have structure ornaments that, and apply them to your homes? Right now it's Genesis season in Upland and you are able to decorate your homes with the Genesis ornaments. So here I have this ornament here which I moved onto the structure itself and now I'm able to apply it and decorate my home. Now yes, this does look really cool and this is Miles the Llama in a rocket heading out to the moon being shot out of this property. So this is a really cool structure ornament, but beyond that, what kind of utility does this have to be able to decorate my home? Now this hasn't been confirmed yet and this video is being made in May of 2023. We know about neighborhood ratings and if your neighborhood is able to reach the top of the leaderboard at the end of each month, it will be able to spawn a new neighborhood collection, providing boosted earnings to players who have the proper number of properties set in that new collection. Things like constructing buildings and adding map assets to your properties contribute to the neighborhood score. You can take a look at the video in the upper right hand corner or the link in the description below to learn more about that. I believe that structure ornaments will also play a factor in that in the future. Now the question is, is it enough to have this crate placed on your property or does the crate actually have to be applied to the structure itself? So I believe that only when the ornament is going to be added to the structure, like you see here, 
then will it contribute to the neighborhood score? However, if it's a different season and not the Genesis season, this structure ornament will not contribute to the overall neighborhood score, or it might contribute less. So this is something that you want to think about as you're building up your community and coordinating things. If you are a community that is based around one specific season or several seasons, then I believe in the future there will be different opportunities for different neighborhoods to jump up in the score based on the type of structure ornaments that they have and the seasons that they are decorating their homes for. Now back to my property here, these are the things that I'm thinking of when I'm looking to construct a house and determine the size of the structure that I want to build on here. Also keep in mind that it's most likely that the larger the structure that you have built, the more expensive the structure ornaments are going to cost you as well. So there are a lot of things that factor in to the size of the property that I want to buy, the neighborhood I want to build it in, the type of structure I want to build, and what kind of ornaments I want to have on this property. It doesn't always make the most sense to build the largest structure that you can that fits on the property. Let me know your thoughts on the comments below. Do you think that I should build a micro house here even if this crate doesn't fit?